Alright, so welcome to the first video of a new series that I'll be trying out here on my channel. I'm calling this series The Cheapest, and I'll get to the specifics as to why in a bit. But firstly, I want to point out that I'm a college student studying engineering, and uploading videos um, more than twice or thrice a week is quite hard for me, uh, as due to homework constraints and exams and assignments, etc, etc. But this series is exactly to cover that. It's a easy to make series where I could upload really often and um, I don't have to do much editing, camera angles or nothing like that. I don't have to record my voice separately. The recording is done while I'm recording the video. Um, so it's an easy to make series where I can upload more frequently, basically. And I'm gonna need your help in, a, for, in the terms of ideas and stuff. Uh, so please head on to the comment section and tell me at the end of this video whether you want to see certain things added or certain things taken off. I'll really appreciate that. But yeah, so the cheapest. Basically what it is, is I'm going to go on eBay and buy broken electronic items. Well, not always broken, but mostly broken electronic items of a certain category. And I'll buy the cheapest of them and see what I get. Um, today, as the first, I have a smartphone here. So the First category is going to be smartphones, cheapest smartphones. And in this case, it'll be broken cheap, the cheapest broken smartphone you could get off eBay. Um, usually the categories will be, the, the rules will be, it has to be buy it now, so no auctions. Buy it now, um, parts not working or used, but in this case, parts not working. Uh, free shipping to make it even more cheaper. And I'll start from $10 and keep reducing it 10, five, three, and see where it ends, where I, where I can get a really good deal for uh, the price I'm paying. So let's jump to the first video of this new series. All right, so before starting, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content from me. And now let's take a look at this phone. So the cheapest smartphone that I could get off eBay. So basically what I did was I first went on eBay and typed in smartphone and I got a bunch of smartphones available, uh, brand new ones, used ones, iPhones, Android phones, Windows phones, etc, etc. Then I hit buy it now. Then obviously, like I said, free shipping and then parts not working. But this is where I usually change. I might go for working or I could go for broken, but in this case, broken. Um, then I hit $10 on the limiter and I got a bunch of phones uh, for $10, LG G4s, so some of them turning on, some of them don't, a bunch of iPhone 5s, iPhone 5s's, iPhone 4s. Then I changed the filter to $5, uh, which reduced it down even more. And I got a, more phones um, available at that price range with free shipping, by the way. Um, and then I finally reduced it to $3 because there were still no options available. And this was the cheapest phone that I could get for three, well, below $3. And what it is, it's basically a Nokia Lumia 635. Um, here's the original listing. And as you can see, it was listed as a Lumia 925 on AT&T. But there was a photo of its back with the uh, model number there. And I just ran it on Google and it showed me that it was a 635. So I already knew that it wasn't a 925. Maybe just the seller just got it mixed up because I've already purchased stuff from that seller and I know his other items were always listed properly. Um, but I just went ahead and bought it because it was so cheap at $1.61. That's right, $1.61 with free shipping. And this is what I got a completely smashed Lumia 635 uh, without its battery, without its back cover, untested. No one knows nothing about this phone. The seller had not listed anything. It's just like Lumia 925 AT&T untested, but it's actually 635 and it arrived. So when I bought this, I actually didn't buy it for this video. I just bought it because it was so cheap. I just thought, whatever, I'll just buy it, see what I get. But it just sat here for like four months because I purchased this in 2019, I think October of 2019, I can't remember. But um, I bought this in 2019, I just sat, so, but this is the phone that basically gave me the idea for this new series of videos. 
So now let's have a closer look at the phone. It seems to have a completely smashed, well, it doesn't seem, it is obvious. It has a completely smashed um, digitizer. The LCD seems okay. I, I cannot find any form of uh, damage to the LCD. If I run the light like that on it, uh, you can see that the LCD probably is fine. I've used a flashlight on this before and I couldn't find any damage to the LCD. Uh, the back cover is missing, the battery is missing. Um, there was a bit of marking over here. It's just gone away, I think, by me holding it. Um, it could have been water damage, but I'm not really sure. It looked like water marks. Um, but yeah, this is what I got. But now we got to see if it turns on. But another rule to this series is I'm not going to spend more money on these phones because they're super cheap. They're probably mostly busted. Um, so I'll try and get it working by what I have on hand already. And I should have a battery lying here somewhere. But this battery would not fit in here. So I'll have to take the phone apart and try to hook it up in some way or another. So let's take the phone apart and try to hook up a battery to it. All right, so let's take this apart. I've already undone one screw there. Um, I already have a perfectly working battery over here. I've tested it, I've charged it. I've used it for testing purposes on other phones before. Um, so let's see what's inside this. Um, I haven't taken this phone apart in the past. Um, and we shall see what we have on the inside. So I'll just get done with unscrewing this and jump to that point. So I found out something interesting. This screw was stripped a lot. Uh, I had to apply a lot of force to try and get it out, but that didn't work. So then I had to like kind of wedge the screwdriver like that into it and just jab it down and turn it. So maybe someone tried to open this in the past and strip that screw. Uh, yeah, there we go. It got stuck there kind of. So let's, oh, I just missed one there. Um, so yeah, I guess someone has tried to take this apart in the past and was unable to, or I don't know, but that screw was definitely, uh, stripped pretty badly. I think this one's the, yeah, this one's pretty stubborn for some reason. It doesn't want to come out easily. These are easily taken apart phones, by the way. And why is this being stubborn? All right, I'll try and figure that out. So I almost forgot there was a, a sticker which was really well camouflaged with the back of the phone as it should be. Uh, and it just housed one more screw. So let's take that screw off. That's probably like a warranty kind of thing, I guess. And but it does not have any indicators on it. Like once you take it off, an expert could have taken that off and reapplied it. So I don't think that's really a warranty thing. I don't know. So that's the phone apart. Um, okay, so we're gonna have a small issue here cause the display ribbon is there and the motherboard is already, oh, okay, so. We'll have to connect it some way and see if the battery fits in like that. Or we could just take the motherboard out of the housing entirely. So that's what I'll do. All right, so it's out of the housing. There are no screws actually. Um, the camera and the antenna module are still there, but it'll perfectly turn on without those two. Um, so let's go hook the display up to the how was that connected? It was connected like this. Let's try and hook that up. And now let's see whether plugging in a battery would do anything. Or will I have to run a wire across this thing? And it seems like that. I might even have to run a wire uh, from the battery terminals to the phone terminals. All right, so I'll just go get some wires and be right back. All right, so I have soldered uh, two wires on there like that. Um, so now let's try and power it on. I've already connected the ribbon as well. <clears throat> so we got this battery was 
positive, negative. So the phone, I'm assuming this is positive. Well, this one's positive. So hook that to that. that to that yeah we do have a small spark there so there is current flowing so yep I'll have to change my angle a bit because it's not really uh, ideal but I'll just get back to that all right so after a couple of attempts of different methods and try to on trying to get the thing to work, including a different battery. Well, not this one, but a different uh, Lumia battery, um, which uh, has a, exactly the same rating and everything. I soldered it on to the battery and to the uh, connecting pins over there. Try to power it on, nothing. So I'm assuming that whatever the marking that was underneath here, the water damage uh, probably just killed the phone itself. And it's probably been sitting with water damage for a couple of years. So it's pointless dropping this thing in alcohol and trying to get it to work. Uh, I'm not gonna spend more money on it. It's just a cheap phone. It's basically junk now. So what I'll do is just basically toss it to the whenever box. Uh, I might use it for something, I don't know. Um, the housing is useless. The LCD is still good. So if the water hasn't reached the LCD, um, the LCD panel could probably be used for another 6, uh, 635 if I ever get one that has a broken LCD. So basically it's spare parts. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, please leave me some feedback in the comment section. If you wanna see um, certain things, please let me know in the comments. If you want me to take out certain things, let me know. Um, and I'll be happy to uh, implement all those in the next video. So the next video will probably be a working smartphone, but I have not purchased anything yet, but we shall see. All right, so that's the new series for my uh, channel. It will be in a separate playlist. So the playlist will be up here and down in the description. Uh, please don't forget to uh, check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please, con please consider subscribing. All right, thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.